What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen, I'm going to jump right on this. Trial started today. The first day of trial was uh, started out there in Tampa, Florida for this man right here. At the time of this picture, which was uh, 2020 of October. This guy is Jay Leonard Rodriguez. He was 49 years old in, in this picture. Now, he's recently, you know, he's been locked up for three years. And today, like I said, was the start of his trial. This guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, in October, had a girlfriend named Jennifer Barreras. Pictured here. Pretty girl, you would say, right? This guy, in a domestic dispute, flew into a rage, beat this woman to death with his bare hands. She was six months pregnant. Now, I don't know if it was his child or not, but uh, both her and the child didn't survive. Now, this guy, like I said, trial started now. There was a witness there, and the witness is working with the prosecution put this guy away and this guy faces two charges of second degree murder i don't know why it's not capital murder because he intended to do it but we'll see let me play you this video of what happened and uh you know it gives you the particulars but i gotta warn you after i get done with this video i'm gonna read you the original news article and i gotta admit it is quite unsettling domestic violence in this country and abroad is a very very serious crime and it's growing y'all i mean it, it really needs some tending to and it need, a lot of light needs to be brought you know there's some of this stuff need to be brought to the forefront because animals like this walk amongst us and they need to be dealt with firsthand and swiftly check this out the trial is now underway for Jay Rodriguez. He is the Tampa man who investigators say three years ago used a closed fist to beat to death his pregnant girlfriend, killing her and her unborn baby. Rodriguez is charged with two counts of second degree murder, and now a jury will decide if he in fact did it. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joins us live now from the Hillsborough County Courthouse for the first day of the trial. So Gloria, what happened today? You know, the jury heard the horrendous details of this crime of a pregnant woman being killed, screaming for help, but that help came way too late. Facing two counts of murder, Jay Rodriguez will take his chances with a jury. The judge explaining the charges against him. That Jennifer Rarest was uh, his girlfriend. They were on a dating on again, off again situation and uh, Erilyn Barrios was uh, a minor child that was delivered via C-section and thereafter died. But the charges prosecutors say don't even begin to describe the horror and terror that happened here. They say in October of 2020, Rodriguez flew into a violent and deadly rage when he beat his pregnant girlfriend, Jennifer Barreras, to death. Rodriguez detectives say punched, stomped, and kicked Barreras in the head and stomach, who was six months pregnant. She was heard screaming, help me. Records show an eyewitness tried to stop the beating, but Rodriguez went after her. Barreras did not survive the beating. Her baby was delivered at the hospital, but died minutes later. Now the eyewitness will be the crux of the prosecution's case. Rodriguez has a track record for violence. His criminal history includes armed robbery, aggravated assault, and attempted armed robbery. In 2013, a woman filed a restraining order against him, claiming he broke into her house, destroyed her furniture, and attacked her. Now, years later, a jury will decide if he murdered his pregnant girlfriend and her unborn child. 
And Chris, that prosecution star witness is expected to testify tomorrow. We'll let you know how the jury reacts to all of it. Back to you. Okay, we will certainly check in with you tomorrow and see uh, if this witness, if they take the stand and what they have to say about witnessing what sounds like just an absolutely ridiculous and unnecessary act of violence there. Guys, this is a news article from the Daily Mail, and uh, it's written from October 21st, 2020, when this first happened. And it shows just, you know, how demented this dude was. Check this out. It reads as follows. A Florida man has been charged with the murders of his girlfriend and her newborn baby court documents show. J. Leonard Rodriguez, age 49, was detained on Saturday and charged with two counts of second degree murder in the deaths of the woman and the baby. The name of the woman has not been released in court documents. On Monday, prosecutors in the case filed a motion to have Rodriguez held in jail without bail until trial. Included in the motion and the arrest report was a witness account from Jessica Gonzalez, a woman who tried to help the pregnant woman and was also threatened by Rodriguez. Gonzalez told investigators that around 325 p.m., she heard the woman scream from a bedroom inside the home at 2217 East Emma Street. Gonzalez said that the couple had been staying at the house at that time, the motion added. Gonzalez said she entered the room, saw the man punching the woman in, in the face with a closed fist, and she was cowering down as she was cowering down on her knees, according to the motion. The pregnant woman screamed, help me. Ms. Gonzalez told the defendant to stop hitting her, but the defendant then balled up his fist and turned toward the witness. The motion added. The defendant threatened Ms. Gonzalez with physical violence if she tried to get involved. The witness added that she then saw Rodriguez throw the woman on the tile floor, kicking her several times in the face and stomach, stomping on her face and stomach. The motion reads. The woman lost consciousness as Rodriguez continued to beat her, the motion stated. Gonzalez told investigators that around 3.25 p.m. she heard the woman scream from a bedroom inside the home. And they had been staying there that whole time. The motion adds. I don't know why they repeated that twice. Then it says, Gonzalez called 911 and as Rodriguez left the scene, she rushed to the woman to perform CPR with the help of the dispatcher. Tampa police came to the scene and found a woman unresponsive and severely bruised and swollen around the head. The woman was taken to St. Joseph Hospital and doctors delivered her baby girl at around 4.15 a.m. Roughly 10 minutes later, the woman was pronounced dead and her daughter died just 10 minutes after that, records say. According to the Hillsborough Medical Examiner, the woman had suffered multiple blunt impacts to the head and torso. She also had been had evidence of shoe tread impressions on her body. Rodriguez was arrested at his mother's home, of course, at the 6900 block of North Tampanian Avenue. The police told the man told police that he and the woman got into a physical altercation, but claimed that he only grabbed her by her hair and face because she slapped him. Records added. It is unknown if Rodriguez is the father of the child, with a spokesman for Tampa police citing Marseille's law, Marcy's law, when declining to answer. The amendment protect crime victims. Okay, the amendment protects crime victims and keeps information from the public. At the time of his arrest, prosecutors with the Hillsborough State Attorney's Office said that Rodriguez was on probation for attempted robbery at the time. All right, guys, that's the story about uh, J. Leonard Rodriguez, 49 years old in uh, 2020. So I guess he got to be, what, 52 now? 51? Older than me. And you would think he would know better. But I'm going to tell you something. When you deal with some human beings, they're not uh, human beings. They're animals. And they need to be treated as such. 
What this guy did to this woman is unforgivable. They said they didn't know if the child was his or not. They didn't say anything in this new news article, but you seen him in, in jail. He didn't got his weight up. He didn't grew dreadlocks. He's sitting in there rocking back and forth in the seat, awaiting his fate. Don't seem concerned at all. Neither was he concerned about that child when he stomped on the baby. I mean, some of this brutality, man, is like beyond just barbaric, like period. This was your girlfriend. And I'm going to tell you another thing. These guys, when they do this type of stuff, it ain't nothing but pure hate. He attacked what's sacred to her or what she was protecting. Because I'm sure if she's a pregnant girl, she covered her stomach up. You know what I mean? Because it says she was bent over, you know, so he couldn't hit the baby. She was taking the brunt of the blow. Dudes like this attract, they attack things that they think somebody else would want or things that they covet that makes them angry. So they try to destroy it. Your face. She's a pretty girl. The baby, she coveted it. He has stomped the baby, stomped on the stomach. Everything you are to him, when you make them feel a certain way, they want to destroy it. People like this is the type of people where you put a puzzle in front of their face, they get frustrated, they just break the whole thing up because they can't get past problem solving in their own damn head. This guy right here, they need to take him outside to a tree, stu tree stump, put his head down on it, and hit him with one of them circus ten hammers. You know them big hammers where they be driving them stakes in there? Smash his pumpkin. Get him right out of here. Don't cost taxpayers a dime, and it solves a problem. I'm sure her family wouldn't have a problem with that. Justice would be served. Instead of them banging that gavel, I'd bang that thing right on his head. Man, it's like, I don't have it in me. I mean, I can be as vicious as anybody else. All of us have it in us. But, you know, it takes a lot to get that out. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't have it in me to do that to a woman, especially a pregnant woman, because she's carrying life. And for you to do that, I don't think the baby was his. I mean, it's just my opinion, but it's because it said they was on again, off again. This guy, 49 years old. That girl is evidently way younger than him. And that's one of the things, man, with these young, these older men be trying to get these young girls. You can't keep up. You can't. She in the prime. Got a vanity. People going to come out of nowhere. She going to realize, you know, she's a pretty girl. And that, regardless of that, she still sees something in you to claim you with the title of her man. It's not enough. 49 years old, man. 49 years old. What did he do? Soon as he did this, ran away. Same MO. Beat somebody's ass, beat him to death, run away. Where was he caught? At his mama's house. Why would I expect less? Why'd you run away? I ain't beat her up. Said her head swole up, guys. Her head was swole up. Said he beat her so bad she had sneaker impressions on her body. That's a lot of force. He was kicking her hard as he could with the impression of his shoes imprinted on her body. How sick is that? That's a devil right there. That's straight up demon stuff. How much hate you got? This is the thing. You could tell somebody you love them and all this stuff. You never seen anything in her eyes that would have caused restraint where you couldn't do great bodily harm to her. You shouldn't have hit her at all. Let's get that straight. But I mean to straight out come out and try to obliterate her, even with a witness there, and then threaten the witness for trying to do the right thing to stop you from either going to jail or killing this girl. You threaten her, then what else they got? Lengthy criminal record. Other crimes against women. Running up in their house. Tearing up their furniture. Beating on them. Robberies in the street. Attempted robberies. Flags. Look at his face, y'all. Just look at it for a second. He has a very strange look. The way his eyes are set in his face, he just looked weird. Did you see him in the court uh, thing where he was looking around, popping his eyes all big? And Mental problems. It ain't nobody's job to fix you. 
If you can't control yourself, man, you could have walked out of there. We've seen it in many stories and many films. Dudes and women argued, make the man mad, he ah, uh, and then he just leave the house. How is that so hard nowadays? I would never put myself in a position unless my life depended on it where I would have to physically put my hands on a woman that I claimed that I loved. Seriously. This guy's a piece of crap, man. They need to, man. Many people have said it made this woman rest in peace, the baby too. But man, I mean, listen, when you get to the point where you're so angry that you will kill anything, you know, where you'll destroy anything, kill anything. How do you even let yourself get to that point? That's the part. Like, I mean, you go from here to off the, off the meter. I mean, it's a gradual progression. I won't even let myself get this far until I, I'll just be quiet. I'll just leave out. So I, I would, I would just, nobody's worth going to prison for or nobody's worth a lifelong, just that tension of just having something over your head of some wrong you did to somebody that you shouldn't have did. Does that make sense to y'all? I can't, I don't have it in me to, to deal with that type of stuff. But I told you, this thing right here is ever growing. Now, this happened in 2020. Imagine from October 21st, 2020, all the way up to now, how many other pregnant women have gotten beaten and lost their life or the child? It's like this stuff is running rampant and it's all over the news, and guys see it in one ear, right out the other. They don't even know. You know, and then they just become a part of it and they, they wind up doing it too. I wonder how many cases done happened since then. This is messed up. That girl gave you a shot. And it cost her her life and the life of her uh, child. Six months old, you trying to kick the baby out of him. Swelling her head up. And if they don't take his head off at the shoulders, I don't know what's going on. Prison won't help him. Second degree murder, that's BS. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.